Hello, my crafty friends! Today we're going to be making card using Sentimentally Yours box kit number seven. And hopefully you all got your crafty hands on it because it is stunning. Wrong side. All the stamps you're getting. And we're going to be using lots of those. And you get a six embossing folder. Let's have a look. Beautiful embossing folder, linen texture. And you get a die, a clock die, and you get beautiful papers. Look at those. And the embellishments. Okay, so we're going to be making 8x8 eight eight card today. And I have some embellishments cut out already. Um, some I did stamp. And I will go through it. So what I've done is, as you can see here, this is quite a thin paper, okay? So I did cut it out and I want it a little bit more sturdier. So I did glue it just on your ordinary white paper, white card, shall I say, white card. So cut it out, glue it on, cut it out again, okay? And then you're gonna end up having really sturdy, look at this. I mean, this is card embellishment. Okay. You can even hear. Um, so then I glittered everything. I did glitter everything I could. I don't know if you can see it. It's all glittery, glittery, sparkly. There you go. They're amazing. They're absolutely stunning. And then this is a cutout as well from papers. Okay. And also I did glue it on a white card and then cut it out again. These ones, I did stamp it. Okay. So you get all these gorgeous stamps. Hang on. All these gorgeous stamps. So what I've done is, um, first of all, I've used powder blue and rose petal luster card here. And I did stamp on the same powder blue and rose petal. I stamped it using Morning Mist Versafine Claire. Okay, so it's lovely gray color. And then because obviously it takes time for ink to dry on luster card, I did use crystal clear embossing powder and I did heat it and embossed. And then glittered it all as well. So we ended up having quite a few of these embellishments that we made from stamps. And cut it out as well. Okay. This one actually, this one, I stamped on one of the papers on um, this one on this paper here as you can see on the background so i did stamp it as well using morning mist this lovely gray color 
And what I've done again, the same as I've done with these, because it's a because it's a paper, okay, I did glue it to the white card and then I did cut it out again. And now it's look it's really nice and thick. Okay, so what we here what we have here today is eight by eight card blank then i did cut out this layer uh, this one is powder blue luster card and i've used double debossed squares largest one and fifth smallest one to get this this is from our papers so it's just gonna we're just gonna glue it in the middle and then our next layer is stitch torn squares i think these are sold out but if you have them well done so this one is second largest and fourth largest and we're gonna create this frame uh, then i have used some texture dyes this is moroccan it's gonna go this side this little bit is gonna go somewhere here and then hearts a lovely bird clock clock is gonna go somewhere here as well and then we have best wishes it's gonna go in the middle and then i have a little it's still drying little locket and these floaty fronds few butterflies and a little envelope okay so we're gonna start by gluing let me just put everything on the side there we're gonna start by gluing this little bit in the middle of our card blank make sure you open the card blank and glue it the right way and then discard which is going to be glittering everything this pattern doesn't really matter which way it goes okay so this is down and then what i thought we're gonna do on this layer here put this aside i was thinking because obviously all this is visible we can use this stump here this one and using morning mist versifying claire stamp all around ju just from outside so we're gonna have a look how, it, how it's gonna come out so i'm gonna put it on acrylic block I don't want it to go in the in the middle so it's visible in the middle so I'm just gonna go around well I'm gonna try to go around well, let's have a look so using morning mist I do like this color and just little bit 
it's it's like beautiful lace I love this stamp it can be used in so many projects just going around and the trick is here is not to smudge it because we are stamping on luster card so we're gonna try our best not to smudge it because it's very easy done and i've done it so many times Just going around and round. Okay. This is done. Just gonna clean my stump quickly. Okay, okay, let's have a look. It's gonna go on here, like so. And I don't like this corner, so I want it on the bottom. Oh, I don't like this corner as well. It's gonna go this way yep and then our frame is gonna go over and it did transform the whole look I do like that it looks great so now we're gonna put this one on the foam tape using two millimeter foam tape here I am running out of foam tape so I'm gonna have to order some more and I did have um, something like 150 meters of it I did have a lot of it. I did have a lot of it. And it's all nearly gone. Okay, so hopefully we're not going to smudge anything. Now we're going to go around the inner frame. Okay. I do apologize if you can hear voices from outside. We do have tourists in here walking a lot now. So I do apologize for that. Okay, so that's this done. Let's have a look. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. It looks like it did print on, on this paper here, but it's not smudged, <laughs> which is good. Um, which is good. Okay, which corner did I like? This one is going on there. Yep. So I'm just gonna take this backing off and I'm trying to be really careful here not to smudge it
and at this stage you can use your glue if you want some wiggle wiggle I'm not using glue usually I'm just I'm just slamming it on and hoping for best so you want even edges all around okay and now I do keep this paper because obviously it prints on it as you can see so I don't want to have prints on the mat where I'm working okay this looks good so this was our powder blue luster then next I'm gonna put uh, this layer here and I already did put foam tape on it and usually you think you wouldn't put probably you wouldn't put a lot blues and pinks together I don't know but I thought we're gonna try why not in my head it did work okay so this is this side let's have a look is it straight it doesn't look straight to me hang on Yes, it is straight. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Oh, I have to say I love this stamp so much. I mean, this. This stamp here. I don't know, it's something about it. I just love it so much. I think it's 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 so great. Okay. So now I was thinking to glue this one. This is our Moroccan tile. I should have done it. I should have done it before I glued this layer on. But never mind. We still can do it. We still can do it. Just gonna shove it underneath. I knew I forgot something. It's okay. Luckily we did put that pink frame on some foam tape. So you can actually tuck it under. It's okay. It's all gonna work. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's tuck it in under. And I'm not too worried about the glue because it's gonna dry clear. Ideally, I would, I wouldn't want it to show, and it wouldn't. It's not gonna show. It's not gonna show. But I completely forgot. Did I? So I'm just gonna make sure it's gonna stuck there. Okay, it's little bits glue. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna put butterfly in there. okay so next next 
we're gonna do our little composition here I'm thinking to do something like that and I have to say all these stamps these stamps they're really easy to cut out you can see <laughs> my poor butterflies don't have antennas anymore <laughs> but that's fine you just put glitter all over no one is gonna notice okay <laughs> um yeah so our embellishments are gonna go on glue gel to give us dimension i have a feeling that i forgot to do something here no, I think it's all good. I think it's all good. Okay, so we're gonna glue. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, my crafty friends. <laughs> I ran out of storage on my phone. And I was thinking that it was recording. And it was not. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through what I've done so far. Uh, so it did stop where I started to glue hearts using the glue gel okay so i've glued hearts uh on the glue using glue gel um then text our texture dye then i used some uh, whatever i had twine i couldn't find any blue or pink so i just used white just white is okay for this card um and then i tied a little notch you can't see it probably but anyway instead of using pva glue and glue the twine to the card i've used a lot of glue gel and i just sunk so let's say let's say hang on so i did put my locket through I've done a notch, put a blob of glue gel, and I just sank, sank it in, and then I put a lot more glue gel on top, just to make sure that it's going to stay there. Okay, so it is dangling. Come on, dangle, dangle. It is dangling. Not a lot, but it is. You know, I've never done it before, so I think for first time it's okay it's okay then i use the glue gel again uh, to put our birdie on top and then clock just make sure <clears throat> every time you go glue any type of clock uh, just make sure it's the, the right way up or the right way around so 12 should be on the top okay so all this I don't know if you can see is now in the glue gel and this blob is where I did put my twine okay so let's continue so next we're gonna put our little sentiment so I'm thinking to put maybe sentiment on the foam tape let's have a look but i want it quite high i want it quite high and i'm not sure whether this tape is going to be ah oh, no that's okay that's good i thought it might be too wide for this sentiment i want this sentiment to stick out Let's have a look with two layers. Now nah, I want it a little bit more. Do I or don't I? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Decisions. No, I think two layers should be enough. <clears throat> two layers should be enough. OK. 
Okay. Just gonna have to garbage in the bin. Okay, just making sure that it's all straight. Is it straight? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. I absolutely love this box kit. Absolutely love it. Okay, so then our little envelope is gonna go. Let's have a look. I want it somewhere in this corner here. Oh, here, under the birdie, under the birdie, yeah, let's put it under the birdie, so it's going to go on a glue gel as well. And I want it at an angle, that's why I did put a little bit more glue gel on this side, so we can pop it at an angle like so don't know if you can see it but it, it is sticking up now so we did put it at an angle okay I like that and then what we have left our three butterflies and I did stamp them on blue and pink purposefully because I thought the ones are gonna go on the pink layer are gonna be blue okay and one is gonna go the pink one is gonna go on the blue layer We just have to decide which which way to put them. I didn't think it through. I like this one here. This is gonna stay there. This can go in there. And this one. Mm -mm -mm maybe here and then we have floaty fronds we have a couple of floaty fronds i feel like this area here is a little bit empty so let's have a look if we can put these ones over there okay so i didn't glitter them till the end so these are gonna be snipped snipped let's have a look something like that no maybe this way yep i like that so it's so going on the glue gel again our butterflies so this one is gonna go this corner here a little bit at an angle as well this one is going to fly that way I do apologize hang on a second okay i'm back postman came so this butterfly at an angle as well like so and then we're gonna have this one flying that way glue gel again Oh, 
Whoop. Stay there. Okay, I like that. Floaty fronds, which is gonna put on PVA glue. Just a little bit of glue there. And just gonna tuck it underneath. Push it down a little bit. And this one, last one. My chair is squeaking. It's not me squeaking, it's my chair. And this one. Underneath as well. This way we don't have an empty corner here. Which I did feel a little bit that it was, it was something missing there. It was something missing there. Okay. Let's have a look. Now we have created a card using Sentimentally Yours Box Kit Magazine number seven. Look at this. Dangle, dangle. Dangle, dangle. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, did I tell you? I love this stump. And it's all glittery, glittery, glitter everywhere. There you go. Well, I really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, it does mean a lot to me, honestly. Um, so thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye.